Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm very excited to share with you the first two routines of my new five-part series on blues self-accompaniment. Basically, what we're gonna be doing is learning how to navigate across a blues one, four, five progression in the key of E. So that would be E7, A7, and B7. Only, we're gonna be learning how to represent each of those chords with just their bass notes. Then, we'll source out some licks from our major, pentatonic, and blues scales to come up with a full performance over that chord progression. To go along with this lesson, click through the free link in the description to my Patreon page, where you'll be able to download the tabs to these first two routines. If you decide to become a supporter for just a dollar a month, you can gain access to a wider range of resources, including early access to my YouTube tutorials, exclusive videos, PDFs, and a whole bunch more. Now, let's get started. Okay, getting started with routine number one. This is a basic approach with single note bass, quarter note leads. It's very important that we tap our foot and try to count along with the beats as we play through. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's break that down lick by lick. We're getting started with the low E string. Then we're gonna play third fret, high E string, open string, open B string, third fret B string, third fret B string, and then the high E string to complete lick number one. Every lick that we're gonna learn today can be embellished. with bends and short stops. So always keep that in mind. Each of these licks, they might sound very, very simple now, but they're just the beginnings of something that's much more impressive. Okay, moving on to the next lick. It's gonna be low E string, representing the E chord. Third fret, open E, open B, then collapsing the finger. Third fret, B string, third fret, high E string, open string. All right, each of these third fret notes can be embellished just by bending a little bit. Now the chord is gonna to change to A, so we need to represent that chord by playing the open A string. First fret, second fret, very Dixieland. Open E string, third fret, be sure to copy my fingers. Second fret B string, and then third fret high E string again. One more time, that was open A, B string first, second, high E string open, three, back to the B string second fret, and back to the third fret high E string. Before going back to the E chord. Represent it with just the low E string, then repeat lick number one. All right, I might like to stop short on those third frets there. All right, then the B chord comes in. We need to represent it with just the second fret of the A string, our B. All right, then on the second beat, we're gonna play. One, two, three, four. That was three on the high E string, open E string, open B string over that B or B7 chord. Then the A chord could come back in on a 12 bar blues in E. Open A, first fret, second fret. Kind of a reprise of how we treated that A chord before. All right, then we're back to the E chord to repeat lick number one. Oh, three. Okay, congrats, you've completed routine number one. Now we're ready for routine number two. Here, we're going to be adding in 
Simultaneous bass and treble notes. This means that I can choose to go hybrid style using my pick and also my fingers, or I can go finger style. I'm gonna ditch my pick and go finger style for this routine. In addition to that, we're gonna be adding in bass transitions, eighth note syncopations, and also slight bends. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one and two and three, four. One, two, three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four. One, two and three and four. One, two, three, four, one and two and three. Okay, so there you have it, routine number two. Let's go through it lick by lick, and remember, it's very important that we try to keep these licks coming in on the appropriate beat. Lick number one is gonna sound like this. Low E string. All right, so that is something that we would play over top of the E7 chord. If you have two guitars, just have someone else hold down the chords for you. It's a great thing to practice to. Okay, so you're by yourself though, so we're gonna be holding down those root notes on our own. Open E string, third fret with a little bend, and then the open E string. One, two, three. Then on the fourth beat, the B string. One, two, three, four. Okay, here's the first instance of a simultaneous bass and treble note. The E string, open, and the third fret of the B string at the same time. Open B. A bend on the third fret, B string again, and the high E string open. Notice how those root notes are coming in right on the one beat. One, two, three, four, one and two, and three and four. Look number two, a little bit trickier. One, two, three, and four, and one. So there we have open E on the one beat. On the second beat, the third fret, high E string, which could be bent if you like. Open E string on the third beat. And then quickly to the open B string on the eighth note. Then on the fourth beat, third fret, B string, collapse the finger down, high E string. All right, third fret. And then a double note both E strings. Okay, so one more time. Oh, three, oh, oh, three, three, oh. From there, we're just gonna walk up. Two, three, four. That's walking and transitioning up to the A note. Open A string. Now we have the next lick over A. I like to keep all my fingers going here. Middle finger. First finger, middle finger, ring finger. All right, with a Dixieland style lick here. All these are just embellishments of what we saw in routine number one. So that's open A, second fret B string, first fret, second fret, high E string. Then a double note. The open A string with the third fret, high E string. Right there, the open E string. 2nd fret B string, and then the high E string, 3rd fret. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, 1 and 2 and 3, practice all these licks over and over again. Alright, so over the A chord, 1, 2 and 3 and 4, and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Alright, then we're back to the E string, where we'll repeat the first segment. But then on the fourth beat, the open A string. And that was just an eighth note, so then we get right to the first fret of the A string. It's a B flat note. That's a transition up to the B chord. All right, this is where your rhythm player will be playing a B7 chord, but we're just gonna be playing our first finger on the second fret, B note. Representing the B chord, we're waiting for the third beat to come in. One, two, three, 
Then the A chord comes back. One, two, and three, and reprising that lick. B string, two, one, two, open E string. Then finally, we're back home to the root chord, E. Open E string, three, oh, oh. Double note, three, oh, three, oh. The reprise of lick number one. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out these blues routines. I hope you enjoyed them. I got three more coming up for you in the coming weeks, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.